Our lakes and rivers help form Minnesota's identity. After all, we are known as the land of 10,000 lakes, and it's in everyone's interest to keep pollution out of our waters. We rely on groundwater for drinking and our lakes, rivers, and streams for recreation and beauty. As a business, you do your best to safeguard Minnesota's land, air, and water. To make sure our water resources stay clean for everyone to use and enjoy, we must work together to protect the water. That's where water quality permits come in. Any facility that discharges into a state waterway, whether surface or groundwater, is required to have a permit. The Minnesota Pollution Control Agency is committed to working with the public on permitting plans that keep our water clean. This video will lay out the basics of permitting, which will make it easier for you to communicate with the MPCA. Before 1972, water quality permits didn't exist. Many lakes and rivers were much more polluted and unfit for swimming, fishing, or drinking. Then, the U.S. Congress passed the Clean Water Act, which created a framework for state water quality permits. All permits regulate stormwater or wastewater effluent, the water that flows from a facility into a water body. A business whose operations directly impact the water, such as a manufacturing and processing plants, must ensure that water from their facility and property doesn't contaminate nearby surface water or groundwater. For businesses, the MPCA will issue permits that may include wastewater permits, stormwater permits, or 401 certification. If your business has a wastewater treatment facility, you may be issued a wastewater permit. These are designed to keep the average chemical makeup of your effluent within certain benchmarks or standards. A stormwater permit ensures that pollutants from your operations do not get washed off-site during rain events. A 401 certification refers to Section 401 of the Federal Clean Water Act. The point of the 401 permit is to make sure your federal permit meets the same water quality standards as a state-level permit. Minnesota standards are typically more rigorous than federal standards. The 401 confirms that Minnesota's unique needs are addressed in your permitting plan. The MPCA's water quality permitting process involves several stages and allows for public input. After the MPCA reviews the application, we inform tribal nations and coordinate with other state agencies when necessary. The agency sets pollution limits and requirements for monitoring and testing. We share the draft permit and ask for public input during a formal public notice period. Feedback sometimes leads to changes or new items in the final permit. Here are some frequently asked questions about MPCA water permits. Your knowledge of how and why wastewater and stormwater are regulated is essential to ensuring your business is sustainable as well as profitable. There is only a small amount of clean, fresh water available in the world. When we take care of it, Minnesota's waterways remain safe for swimming and fishing, healthy for drinking, good for business, and perfect for all of us.